Welcome, welcome, all my YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Facebook friends. We're live. Yes, we made it live. We are on location. And I hope it's all clear and nice. And look who's there. Ta da! Ta -da! <laughs> Zoya in the house. I can't believe it, Zoya. I can't believe either. It's been did a long time. Yes, we did stream a long time ago together. One year? Maybe even more. I think yeah. it was like uh, we did sketch in uh, the Notre Dame or something. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Zoya Skorpodenko, the artist, and Chantal TV. Yes, you saw it right. We're here. I see Ricky. He's here at first. Hi, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky. Look, there he is. I can just show his comments. Hello, Hi. ladies. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Yeah, it is, it is super duper cool, all this, all the, the techniques. I've set up a second phone, as you can see, so that's why you have a little bit of an overview. I, what I will do is um, we're going to walk around to see the exhibition. Zoya is going to explain more. Just can you guys tell me if you hear Zoya loud and clear? Do you guys hear me? Do you hear Zoya? Oh, they're all here. We have Pat and perfect. We have Pat here from California. How are you feeling? Well, I lost my voice, but I feel okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the look is very cool. What's cool. uh, Dennis is here. Dennis. Also. Hi, Dennis. Yes, yes. hi, guys. Hi, how's, guys. How's Los Angeles? How is the what? How is Los Angeles? Exactly, Los Angeles. They met. Yes, yes. They met. They met, they met. So, uh, Zoya. I still have to come for those uh, cocktails you guys invited me. I will, I will. <laughs> it's in my plans. Yeah. Um, do we hear Zoya loud and clear? She has her own mic. I have my mic. Nice look. We're getting compliments here. How many people are watching? Chantal today is Andy Warhol and I'm Basket. <laughs> we're showing, <laughs> we're we're showing. showing boobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. Um, it's overcast today. Probably be sunny later. I'm just trying to keep up with the comments. I think I should read them. On YouTube, let's see what is ha happening because all sorts of things are happening and I can't keep up with it. Oh my god, there's so many. Ten, ten people, Seattle, Marcia. Good, good, you guys. We're gonna walk around. I'm gonna take the other camera and see what's happening. And they, this one can go big. Voila. You know, we have all this technical stuff going on. Ta-da! So, Zoya, tell, tell me. Tell. Yes, tell me. Um, Ask me. Zoya, love your wor work. Bill from St. Louis. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just tell us. What are we, where are we? Maybe we should start on the outside. Oh, yeah, let's start from outside. First, we are at the very amazing place in Paris, which is called uh, Place de Bourges, which is a historical heart. If you guys ever been to Paris, you've definitely been at the square. And this is a square full of art and art galleries. And just over here is a museum of Victor Hugo, the author of the Notre Dame de Paris story. Yeah. yeah, so exactly. we, uh, I, it's my second or third exhibition in this gallery, so I do like this gallery. It's really in a cool location, in a cool gallery. Uh, so I was happy that it was valuable for me for this time. So yeah, so when we get in, we get into the exhibition of Red and Blue Boy in Paris. And the story of this exhibition is coming actually from Monaco. Because in uh, 2020, so three years ago, uh, the government of Monaco commissioned from me uh, a series uh, of pages for the exhibition about the uh, Monaco heritage, uh, educational heritage. And I created uh, with uh, Clem uh, the, this kind of uh, figures, childish figures of uh, red boy and blue boy. Uh, 
and I painted the background, black and white, uh, landscapes of the Monaco buildings of the schools that were before and they're still there. And we put, uh, we set up the exhibition, installed everything. Everybody was very happy. They, they loved the exhibition. So um, we were waiting and everybody was waiting to the exhibition open. And the day when it has to be opened, governments in Europe closing the countries for their confinement. And so the exhibition will never happen. And four months later, that the people said, well, I, unfortunately, it's not anymore in time, this exhibition. So it's went into storage. Uh, but everybody was kind of reminding us about the exhibition who saw it. And they said, guys, will you do something like this? And so we decided that why not to do it, this series of Red and Blue Boys uh, for another world, so for a bigger, bigger cities. And so this is our first exhibition uh, in the biggest art cities in the world. So we're starting from Paris. Next will be Monaco. Uh, in September, we will show red and blue boys in New York. And in November, it will be in Tokyo. So if you are in Monaco in June or in New York in September or in Tokyo in November, we, we will come with the blue boys and red boys in there. You will come with boys everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. If you if you think what is Chantal doing? I'm trying to set up the cameras. Yes, like I miss I, guess, I miss I a seventh assistant. It looks yeah. good, no? Yeah, looks good, looks good. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Just making sure everybody looks uh, looks looks pretty. Okay, to entertain you guys a little bit more. So the idea of red boy and blue boy came from the history of art. There are two famous portraits: the blue boy by Gainsborough. And if you Wikipedia it, it's kind of having an interesting story because it was painted by uh, Thomas Gainsborough. And uh, at that time, the Joshua Reynolds was still alive and they had a big argument. It's one of the biggest argument about the color and the warm and cool tones in the history of art. And so this uh, um, portrait became very famous. And also it was sold uh, uh, to America, uh, and it is now in California, in uh, in the museum next to Los Angeles. I forgot what which one. Maybe I'm going to show like yes, a please. few things, and there's I don't know <laughs> if she has questions. <laughs> so I'm taking over, guys. I'm here. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, Blue boy is here at the Huntington Library. We were waiting by YouTube. Welcome, girls artists. Yay! We have all these people here. So, Zoya, I have seen already so many red little stickers. I know, I know. I've been, uh, I've been, been productive. Uh, pro productive? Yeah, let's put it like this. I'm not only painting, but selling. Yes, I like it. Yeah. If you're in Paris, please come. There's still some available. There's, there's so many pretty ones, you guys. Look at that. It's, um, well, I have to say, I got this one. You did. Thank you, Chantal. I bought this one. Yay. And I know somebody else here bought another one. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> but do you have... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put one thing on the computer. Where did I put the computer? Here. Just uh, the website of... Uh, sorry. Just like one little technical... Little technical thing. Um, sorry. Captions. Yeah. If you guys go to buymeacoffee.com slash Chantal TV, you can see in the shop quite a few of these paintings. So you can purchase them. Um, they start with 99 euros. We go along paintings if you want one. Tell me and we will organize it. Like Nikki, me, we already got one. So there you go. I will do that part. Well, Zoya is, <laughs> is, is always busy. <laughs> It's exhibition time. Yeah. I, I really think this one is so cool. It's sold, though. There's another one similar with the Eiffel Tower. Look at that. 
So there's always a Notre Dame and an Eiffel Tower somewhere. Always in Paris, a Notre Dame or... Oh, there is... Which one is it? That, uh, Look in the frame. Where am I looking? Oh, this one. Sorry. Love it. Yay! This is so cool. Yeah, it's exactly somebody looking at it. Maybe we start in the back. Or at these little ones. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, one is just uh, not from the series. It's just like, I like the frame and my drawing of the coronation. It just, I like it in this frame. So it's, a, it's a coronation. And this one is actually for mm -hmm. sale. And it is the wonderful price of 99 euros plus 20 euros to send it. Oui, oui. c'est moi qui fais, en fait, moi so, je fais les, euh, les noirs, yeah, euh, les, les dessins du um, paysage, et euh, l'autre artiste, elle fait les petites bonnes. Like, if you want to see perspective, this is 10 by 50, this is my hands, uh, so you can kind of see how en fait, uh, big it is. Ici, c'est l'huile sur toile, et ça, c'est le encre du Japon, parce que du Chine et du Japon, c'est deux différents. I'm starting on this side. Really nice. Love, love, love. Yeah, so that one uh, is 99 plus 20 cent selling. So it's one of the things And in this case, I'm doing it with Soya together. So always supporting everything and everybody. I put it on the website. So not that one, but if you want specific that one, just tell me. And then uh, we put a red sticker on it. This one, on peut faire also ça 99 euros. Uh, faire, uh, this one is salt. It's a Cadero. I think it's very handy. Yeah. 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 You see, Zoe and Clem both signed it. Les if you say, put the red dot on it. Japonais. Uh, yeah, so this this one, I think, was 150. Yeah. This, one was 150. <laughs> this is 99. Another one, 99. This is the Place de Vosges. Here we have another Notre Dame for 150. She wanted mine. Yeah, everybody <laughs> likes it. Good choice. I that. know, I know. Because, guys, you know what I, what I did? When I walked in, I straight away chose the one that I really wanted. And I said, okay, that's the one I'm buying. And... Yeah, and I was with Tim, so we both decided on it. And yeah, it does show that it's good to come first to exactly. the exhibition at the opening because, yes, if you want uh, the best art, is like will be gone in the first day. So, yeah, exactly. If you guys go in next time to the art open over anybody, go on the first day if you want to go to see, yeah, to get the best. The best, business. the best choices are always on day one. This one is also already sold, it's quite big. How big is this? One meter, uh, 81 for one. One by uh, one meter by eighty-one centimeters, mm -hmm. so one meter tall. So this is already sold. Mm -hmm. This one is. It's the same. It's all the same. Size. It's all the same size. Yeah. The wind is moving it. Up. So it's really fun. But anyway, do you guys have any questions for Zoya? Do you have any, like, would you like to know something? Like, can I? Because I see we're with 16 people here. Mm -hmm. Well, on YouTube. Nice. Yeah, that's on YouTube. Probably also, if you're on Twitter, please come to youtube.com slash Chantal TV because I can't see anything um, if you're on Twitter. And I'm trying to do everything at the same time. What I'm like Zoya, you know. <laughs> We're multi-talented. Zoya, do you have anything else to uh, to tell uh, tell us? Why? Yes, I will tell about the red boy because blue boy was a Gainsborough portrait, and the red boy uh, in the history of art is a portrait uh, uh, by the famous English painter from 1800s, uh, 
um, Thomas Lawrence, who also painted a boy, young boy in a red color. And it's also right now in the National Art Gallery in London. And so these are two portraits were references why we chose this color, not green and yellow boy or red and green boy. It was the colors of the historical influence in the arts, the two uh, paintings of two boys, blue and red, with a kind of historical references. Very nice. And <clears throat> so we're going to do this. You, the idea started in Monaco, so now we're in Paris. Are you going to other places? Yeah, our next exhibition will be in Monaco again, uh, and uh, afterwards going to be in uh, New York. Um, I actually was only once for two days in New York, so uh, you need a not guy. East, east uh, <laughs> side, something down uh, down south of the on Manhattan. So physically, I know where my gallery is, but I don't really know how it's called. And uh, then it will be in Tokyo in uh, Shibuya, so in November. Ah, good, good, good. I see that somebody said who couldn't see it on, um, on YouTube, but I think it's more the connection of the person that's watching. Is the connection good, guys? Because for me, I see it all perfectly well on my, uh, on my computer. Oh, Bobby's sending me in. Oh, Bobby's shopping. <laughs> Boy, I'm like, oh, she must be watching. Now she's shopping for dresses for oh, next uh, next week. Yeah. You know, when we are coming, she needs to uh, she needs to be there. So, um, so New York, and then oh yeah, Tokyo. you Tokyo. Tokyo, but she did Tokyo already. No, yeah, not yeah. with not with the uh, red. The red bull. No, I did the Tokyo a month ago. I was uh, doing Sakura exhibition. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the one with the flowers and stuff. It was not with flowers, it was with Sakura. Ah, okay. Flowers were in uh, March and January, and it was in Monaco. Yeah, I, I had a lot of it. This is my, I, uh, this is my one, two, three, four, five, seventh exhibition this year. Oh, wow. Worldwide, yeah. Because oh. I did in Los Angeles, uh, well, Ricky would probably remember he was there, and uh, I did uh, two in Monaco and uh, in Tokyo and somewhere else that I already not remember, but I was about. So. But we let's go also to the back, like sure. you go. Oh, my throat is really. Uh, YouTube connection is good, yeah. Nina just claimed Blue Boy. Which one? I'm I'm just checking. Nina claims one. Let's see which one Nina just got. Nina, I have to see which one you got. Yeah, Hold on. You never have a choice for your blue boy. No, boys. no, no. I have blue boy and plus de Vosch. So plus it Vosch. will be now because I have my website. Oh, here. this one. Uh, I think it's that one. That, no, that's the right one. The blue Red one was gone today. This one, this is blue. Uh, no, no, blue. then maybe I have set. Wait, let me see on which one see it is. One. So let me check, uh, Nina, which one it is, because I am... Because I think we sold today something. Blue boy. No, no, I probably gave it the red, the wrong... Um, uh, wrist, uh, buy me a coffee. So I'm just looking which one it is. It's, I call it plus the force, now she got this one. This one. Oh, this one. Yeah. The, the Banks of Paris. Nina, Nina got it. It's the Thank Banks of know. Paris, uh, Nina. It's not... Um, it's not Place de It's not Place de but it's the Banks of Paris. Sorry that I uh, I said it was Place de but there you have the Eiffel Tower. Congratulations! Congratulations. We put in a very famous red dot there. You're going to get the red dot. Red dot. Important in the gallery. It's the most important here. Exactly. Everything. We have more guys. If you want something, we have red dots. Yeah, we have lots of dots here. Congratulations! Yay! Yay. So that's, that's the Nina's dot. one. And then done. Yeah, done. That's Nina. I really enjoyed the Sakura pieces in your show and the new ones you made while you were there. Yeah, you bought the blue boy. You got it. Yay! Yay! Congratulations, Nina! Now, this is fantastic. And I, and Bobby just keeps me sending, <laughs> keeps the me sending the choices of dresses. <laughs> and I'm like, can't do that. <laughs> and if you think it's too complicated to do it with a uh, through buy me a coffee, you can also say, 
put a dot on it and then we can email later. So like from those little ones. Well, they can check the, the Meloy art dot art yeah. and the, the yeah. results are. Look, this one is still available. This one. This is plus the wash. Plus the wash. This is the, how do you call it? Um, the Arte Triumph is still available. Plus Vendome. Plus Vendome is still available. <laughs> Nina, yay! <laughs> Nina was looking already like at all those uh, all those ones. Here, the famous Eiffel Tower view. It's slightly bigger, also 99. Here we have the Champs Elysees. You see, there's always a little clam signature as well. Um, that one is sold. It's the Opera building. This one is still available. That's slightly more expensive. Uh, 200 plus 20 euros to send it. Also very cute. This one goes to Los Angeles. I really like this one as well, but it's sold. You see, red dot. No, they're not all on the Buy Me Coffee site, um, Nina, because um, I put them on and then some were sold already. This one is still available. We, you know, I can fill them all out after, or you can just tell me which one you want. Make a screenshot of it. That's also possible. Make a screenshot and then... Um... Oh, my computer's off. Damn. Oops. Do you need a charger? No, no. Is, are we still, still here? Yeah. Oops. Sorry, guys. Computer was off. Are we back? Yes, we're back. Sorry. Sorry about that. I, um, <laughs> I was not paying enough attention. I hope you didn't miss too much. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, YouTube just froze. Yeah. Uh, so I was saying they're not all on Buy Me Coffee. We are still loading them all in. Um, but if you make a screenshot, that's what I was trying to say, and then you see also the little price below it there, the 99. And then basically with 20 euros sending, and then it's 119. So like um, Nina just bought the 99 one plus the 20 sending, and then it's 119. So that's what she paid for it. Hello, Montreal. So that's kind of how it works. And of course, a big one is different shipping. <laughs> yes. and different prices as well <laughs> this one is also this uh, how did you do this this is uh, different this one is no, those ones that somebody buy for that price the shipping will be for free it's for smaller pieces so ah, okay yeah. so when it's you buy a bigger one like that the shipping is for free so shipping is for free on these sizes so that's like how it works. I really think this one is very cute as well. That's that's plus the wash. This one is salt. It's just it's very fun. Well, the idea of this uh, was to uh, make a cheerful uh, uh, paintings, and like contemporary art has so many dark negative and kind of like scary things that they uh, hear you fantastic eh, when i take a distance because of the mic do they do they, they hear you very good ah, even good. when i'm even when i'm here i'm doesn't... just following you you're just going and i'm yeah 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 you. no i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> you can keep on talking you can keep on talking because it's like... about, yeah so the, the inspiration was also like to make a little bit of positive art so that's why i, I started doing flowers and i started doing like light landscapes and uh, uh, trying, we need some beauty and light and happiness in this life. The, the life is so tough and all the news are so bad. So it's just like art has to save the world. So I'm on my mission. And also it's good that the art is, uh, you know, it's, uh, there's affordable pieces as well, which Absolutely. is nice. Absolutely. I am all for it. And I said since uh, uh, last year, I've seen that exhibition 99.9. .9, I understand that actually uh, everybody... Everybody has to 
have an ability to buy at least some original pieces because uh, currently the galleries around the world, actually the auction houses with all the news that they feed in the news and tell him like, oh, something sold for 2 million, for 25 million, for 500 million. And it's like, everybody's in like, it's not, I don't even want to enter because like, why I would watch something that I can't get. So we have another red dot. Oh, which one? It's Ricky. Ricky. He wants a red, the red boy with the Arc de Triomphe. Yeah. This one. Okay, red dot. Um, let me find it. Bum, 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 bum. Another sale. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <Two seconds. laughs> Ricky, there you go. Thank you, Ricky. Here Thank you, Ricky. Famous red dot. Din, 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 din. Oh. Voila. And, and we have everything on camera. Yes, he's super happy. Yeah, we're super happy too. Thank you, Ricky. Oh, I'm removing the price tag. Here we are. It's yours. Voila. There you go. Yeah, now we're gonna get now we're running low on the little ones. No, now they're still they're still there. They're still there. I know, I know, I know. This one is if if somebody is a very Paris lover, this is the famous street. Uh, it's Rue. It's not Rue de Lille. It's Rue that comes from um, from the museum. It comes from the museum. Yeah, but it's it's like really it's super cool. This one is also cute. I love it. All these tiny little. Somebody for an Eiffel Tower. You know why, why me and Tim chose this? Because also, um, I, when it burned, I did an interview on the balcony there with uh, Zoya when the whole uh, island was still closed off. That's true, and you still can watch it, yes, this video yeah. on a YouTube. Yeah, if you go uh, Chantal, TV, Zoya, uh, Notre Dame, you will see this. You will find it. Don't switch off now. But, um, yeah. yeah, this is the... We should have a little drink there, the Coca-Cola. Let's go have a little... Yeah. We're going to sit on the table again, so I can move to the table, and we can talk a little bit, like, more quiet. Such beautiful weather. Look the day that. is amazing. The day is amazing. Because exactly two uh, days ago, before I opened the exhibition, in Paris was like horrible weather for a week, or maybe I even know. more than a week. I was here only for a couple of days, and it was so cold and rainy and dark. So um, today, last three days, it was incredible weather. I so know it's I was, like really. Very lucky with it. This is so cool, this whole setup. Bobby shopping. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Bobby, we're live. Ah, so we are surrounded with all the with the art. With the art. And we can put we can put um, we can put uh, this one here for a second. Oh yeah, <laughs> we can look at 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 Nina's painting. Wait, I just put it here. Can you see it? I will not spill my coffee. Hold on. There you go, Nina. And we have our very Coca Colas. Cheers, guys! Cheers from Paris plus the wars. If you are in Paris, pop Cheers. up. Cheers! 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 This is so cool. I love it. There's lots of chats. Let me see what the chats are. It's it's amazing, but you need seven assistants. We're 18. 18 people 18 now. People. Wow. Yeah. Well, this is on um, I think we have more. Yeah, we we chin, we, we make a chin chin for the for the one chin. Thing. Chin you guys. Chin you guys. Hmm. I'll try to find the this is fun. Yeah. This is super fun. And so how many more days is this? It's, uh, I'll be closing it uh, Saturday about 7 o'clock. 
in the okay. So it's still three days, so two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So we will, I will make sure that the, the paintings, if you still want something that you're able or to purchase. Or if you're in Paris, you can come here. Or come yeah, here. when you're in Paris, you can come, but most of the time Americans are overseas. Oh, and of course, I had not even advertised this on Buy Me A Coffee. Mm. I've not even advertised it yet on uh, my newsletter. Guys, we still have like... Uh, but Nina and Ricky were quick. Super quick. Cheers, guys. That was I really cool. I hope you cool. will enjoy our art. Yeah, no, I love it. And we should start doing those art talks again. Yes, and uh, we will. We will because... Uh, I will finish now my uh, exhibition schedule for the this half of a year in Monaco with the uh, and next exhibition with the uh, blue boy and red boy. And then in the summertime, I'll have more time because uh, so we will do the talks because since uh, January, I was around the world uh, running around doing exhibitions. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oops, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> You can you can type to the other artists that uh, that there's a few souls live in the stream. Yes, I am typing it. Yeah, typing it. He should he should pick this up. Doing it, doing it. Yeah, art talks. Yeah. So and I also think that we actually can put it on YouTube as an um, as an um, how do you call it an um, podcast. Oh yeah. So yeah. basically, you make a visual podcast on YouTube, and YouTube promotes it as an uh, as a podcast. So we can uh, yeah. It will just and it will just be on the same channel, and it's all going to be like that. And and then we can use restream again because it works. It works amazing. I mean, this works well, guys. You guys, we are both the same level, yeah, of sound. I think. How could I hear that? Oh, through here, I think. Yay, Peggy! Hello, <laughs> Peggy. Uh, no, but it's um, it's good, by the way, that I went upgraded because now it will save more than half an hour video. Otherwise, I was going to be cut off by half an hour. But I think this was really fun. Any other questions, you guys, before uh, before we uh, finish our drinks? Any requests, anything you like to say, anything you want to see, anything, you know? I will, I will make a little, uh, a little, uh, uh, probably tonight, a little, a little blog post on Substack. So then you guys can see the video and a little bit of the Substack and where you can find the paintings back if you still want to purchase one. Or if you have a screenshot and email it to us, then we can also figure it out. But they go quick. They really go quick because I came here and I had loaded quite a few in. And I was like, oh, they're sold. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to take them offline again. But anyway. Also, if you guys want to see more of exhibition, like more closely, uh, closely. Yeah. Are we back? I know why we, we left because I switched me off. We're back normally. We're back. Okay. Yeah, we you should repeat the last few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, it was my mistake because I took the little picture away. Me. Back, back. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, By the way, guys, if you want to know a fa fun fact about me. Uh, because as probably you heard, uh, there is a Cannes Festival right now going in Cannes. So down south France, uh, is that 20 something years ago, I actually was a movie critic for a couple of years for the Cannes Festival. So it's kind of um, 
uh, not very dear <laughs> for me because I uh, it was a very strange job, but uh, yes, it's a part of my history of my life. So yes, I was a movie critic and I actually uh, have a professional education as a theatre critic. That's why I became a movie critic at that time. So yeah. it's just a small fun fact. Fun, fun facts about uh, Sophia. Yeah, 20 years and 30 kilos later. <laughs> I'm well, here. Let's keep those kilos out. I <laughs> looked at like streets from 2017 and I had such a skinny face. And I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to fix this? I was like, really like... You know what? I saw, because I, I actually thought I will post a photo from at those times, 20 years ago, we didn't have smartphones, right? So we had a cameras and no, not portable uh, tripods. So it's like, if you have a photo, it's like, so I was lucky enough, I had a photo from a, a press balcony uh, in a con festival. So I published it and everybody said, you are so slim. I was like, I'm watching myself in that photo. And I'm thinking like, I was not happy at that time because I actually was a starving artist. And yeah, the, I the job I did for this con festival is, was my kind of part-time job. Uh, and uh, writing, I, I, I loved writing. I didn't enjoy watching the, those movies because they were strange movies. But yes, I was a very, very skinny person. As I said, like right now, I feel much more happy uh, being an artist, fat artist, or like, I'm not so fat, but in a, in a body. <laughs> I, like my, I like my food. I like my Coca-Cola. People, we should enjoy the life. And uh, it's it, uh, like, where did you see the uh, skinny happy snake? Am I right? Yeah, you're right. But... We should think about our health as well. Absolutely. Healthy snake, fat snake. Yeah. Um, somebody was, wait, um, somebody was saying. We cannot hear you. Uh, hello, Chantal. You are doing great episode. You have a sore throat. Try to take a chewable pastille and anti inflammatory. Who is the smiley personage in all these? Oh, Vivian. That is all explained earlier in the stream. It's red boy and blue boy. Um, it's in art history. So if you scroll back, Vivian, you will hear it all. By the way, I don't have a sore throat. Oh, there is something. I was, I, was, I was not feeling great last week. I told you guys that, but now I'm fine. I did two COVID tests, nothing. So I should be fine. I mean, I feel fine. <laughs> My voice is just not cooperating, but hey. No, but it's not like a, yeah, you, you sound almost okay. Yeah, I mean, mm. happy, happy chappy. You know? yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, Maybe I will add something about the smiley faces. So it's not uh, only my work. It's a work of, I did the landscape behind and the funny faces is painted by the uh, English artist Clem Chambers, who is my husband. Uh, and so uh, he did the, the funny faces and then and it was his initially his idea of creating this series and I um, my job is to do the iconic scenery of uh, Paris in this case. Yeah. And like when you're going to do New York and Japan or Tokyo and stuff, then he will do that. The, 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 the funny faces, the street art kind of. Thing. Sorry, I'm burping Coca-Cola. <laughs> and, then, and then you will uh, draw around that again, which I think is amazing because they really fit. They, it's, sometimes they're flying and the action is really, um, it's really it's cool. So what is inner child of people who come to Paris want to be? So we are basically painting inner child. That's what people do when they, uh, on that bridge next to the Eiffel Tower, they always jump and they try to do, because people who uh, managed to come to Paris in a lifetime, they are acting like kids because uh, Paris is an amazing place. I have to say, even I'm quite often in Paris and I have my studio here, but each time I come, I'm very happy. And I also want to jump and fly and smile and sit and have a coffee in a, a corner cafe. So it is what we're capturing the vibe of Paris when you come in here expecting that Paris. Yeah, that's very well said, the inner child. Inner child, yes. Yeah. So, and we all have this inner child. We have probably very sad inner child and very happy inner child. So we are trying to show the happy inner child and remind it that 
that guy is still in us because when we were like about three to five, we didn't have all our adult problems and we didn't have all these big stones that thrown at us of all possible paperworks and everything. We were happy. We were happy to travel and see new things and we were happy to see the green tree and the animals. So that's what it is about. Yeah. Or you go to Disneyland. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Disneyland in Paris. Have you been to Disneyland? In Paris? Yeah. yeah, I was like invited and yeah. sponsored. I've and... never been in any Disneyland, so I have no idea. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, well, I don't think it will do something for your cultural understanding, but it's, it's yeah. Will I have a cultural shock? <laughs> Not in Paris, but in Florida, definitely. If you would go to the Florida one, I had the biggest culture shock of my life there. Yeah. Because I realized suddenly, sorry, American people, uh, that a lot of Americans don't speak English. <laughs> but oh, like, cool. no, cool. but like, they speak American, very, but I just don't very, understand. Every, every state speaks Yeah, and I couldn't English. understand them. And it was like really weird. That's, that was, that's true. I've been uh, I've been actually living for a couple couple months in Tallahassee, so Florida, and yeah, some people there is a very they couldn't understand me and I couldn't understand them. But then yeah. we figure out. We spoke like Italian, like true Italian with the hands. Yeah, this always helps. Yeah. Oh hi Brenda. Oh hi hi everybody. Well, thanks for the context. It's perfect. You're welcome, guys. I'm always happy to talk art. As I'm going to show them like one little second more the wall with all the paintings on it. So then you have seen it. Just like to have a little recap. So this is Place de Vosch, just for if you just walked in, the beautiful Place de Vosch. And then you walk into the gallery. And then you see there in the corner us. Uh, Brenda said we have many slangs. Brenda, I have to tell you, by, because we live in France. Every province in France has their own language as well. And sometimes uh, if people not move in, and there are people who are not moving out of their uh, areas, they have troubles to uh, understand me also. And uh, sometimes I need to translate, it to translate what they mean. So I think it's a worldwide, if there is a country such a big, uh, a big country like America or France, uh, it's, uh, it's, I think it's a normal thing. Oh, I will, I will put Nina's Nina's one back. Yes, Pei, I may agree with you. I love this location. This is one of the top locations in Paris. And also the weather is great uh, because my previous exhibition here was in November. I prefer May. The light is so nice. And, and especially, here, especially, the especially right now in the evening, uh, I was yesterday here until basically a very late night. Right now, the best light from the, uh, from the weather because it's like the sun is going into the gallery, so it's very beautiful. The setup here is just so easy and nice. It's great. I'm reading occasionally what you guys writing. I love the announce. Oh, Ricky loves the announcement poster. Poster. I love the announcement. Oh, the poster. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ricky, you can go to my, uh, to the website, themeloy.art, and you can get it from there. I, I, did, I did put it in the shop there. Okay, we're gonna go. Oh, oh my God! I'm totally losing to my. I'm totally losing it now. My voice. Sorry. It doesn't hurt, you guys. It doesn't hurt. It's just like. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for showing all this beautiful. Thank work. you, Chantal. It and was it was pleasure. fun. It and was fun. Yes, it was fun. And uh, not that we're gonna be doing this every week, but <laughs> once a year. And then we will come back with uh, our art talks. Yes, yes. And yes. I hope you guys uh, hope to guys hope to see you guys soon again. Bye.